Hello, everybody. This time we're gonna be doing the opposite of the stupidity I did the first time. I will be using all of the fungi among guy that I can to show you just how much easier it appears to be. Um, if you've noticed that the, um, the, um, uh, the hell is this called? Sun Shroom has, uh, less of a cost, but that's because the sun it gives only gives 15. It will grow into a full-size mushroom, uh, full-size 25 mushroom, uh, 25 sun-giving mushrooms soon enough. But for now, it's only 15. It is not legal drinking age yet. Sad. Ah, I'm just kidding. I don't. I don't drink. At least I try not to. I love it when they just get to the damn uh plant and then they they head pops off. <laughs> it's amusing to me. These ones I do enjoy having two rows of. This is also the first game I've played that I've actually beaten before. Like, I beat this game so many times with every possible plant combination you can think of. It's just fun to me. Oh, this is something... Um, these shoot four, and they can actually go through screen door zombies screen doors. That would probably be the only reason you'd use them above something else. It does not shoot through buckets or through the cone, though. Which is kind of sad, but oh well. As you can see, they... These, this combination is rather, rather sturdy together. Oh, there's the first example. The mushroom grew. There we go. I can do this without anything but the new mushrooms. Oh, um... Unfortunately, you cannot use the mushrooms during the day. Oh, there's the first example of the stream door zombie. There, you cannot use it during the day. Instead, you have to use them at night, being they fall asleep during the day. I always thought it was interesting. Ow, my jaw popped. Anyway, as I'm recording this, I'm also playing through Final Fantasy 2. It is re being recorded up to the something's keep. I don't remember what it's called, Zai. It's been a few days since I last played it. <laughs> you notice how much easier it is with them? Um, with all the mushrooms and everything? Yes, and right here, in this row alone, there will be four shots out, you know, firing per round. As you can see, that's quite, quite deadly. I would share stories, but I don't really have a lot of stories from these games. It's just kind of weird. I guess that's why I normally do my first playthrough of a game, because any stories I have, I can just talk about as I go. Like, um, Final Fan when I recorded Final Fantasy 1, I, um, I didn't really know what to make of it, or what to expect going in. Which is obvious when you, you know, play a game for the first time, but considering what I've been told, you know, about the entire magic charge system and everything, I know I got the Game Boy Advance version, but, you know, whatever. 
It's rather interesting to me. Actually had to try and record that game, I think it was three times? Yeah, three times. One, just me. One was in, uh, when my family was in a position I'd rather not bring up again. Uh, or rather not bring up. Uh, and then the third is the final product you saw. Oh look, this allows us to have seven seed slots, so, you know, seven plants. I love the Grave Buster. We're already in the next. Yes. Um, I'll get one of those, one of those, and one of them. This is a plant that I'm sad only gets used for these night levels. Due to, uh, the fact that for no other sets of levels beyond, um, two, one through. <gasps> Sorry, two, ten, actually. Uh, has tombstones on them. <laughs> Just resting. Yeah, as you can see, you can get a lot more sun. Well, technically, you can get more sun from two of these than you can from the one sunflower in the beginning. Just do the, you know, it would be technically 30 compared to 25. Not like you can't do math or anything, it's just, you know. I need to find something to talk about. <laughs> That's why I got this game after all. Give me that. You plant. You go there. I am talking to you like you can hear me. Mmm, what? That is the Grave Buster. It gets rid of these uh, gravestones because, as you've noticed, they um, actually uh, have zombies that come up during the final wave. And we can't have that now, can we? There we go. Stay there where you can be attacked by both of them unfairly. <laughs> Yay for unfair cheapskate! <laughs> Done. I like getting as many of these grave buses as I can. Just because- Oh, wow, that's a- Something we haven't, um, gone over yet. That's a diamond. It, um, is worth 1,000 coins. They are pretty rare. Rather neat. Wasn't actually expecting to find one. Oh, dear. Here we go. I love the Grave Buster because you get money, obviously, for it. You know, you get money for apparently uh, robbing graves. But you also, um... Oh, crap, what was I saying? It also doesn't take very long to, um, finish off the gravestone. As you can obviously see here. By the time it gets past one... By the time it gets past um, a block and a half, it's already done. There's actually another version of Grim Buster in Plants vs. Zombies 2 for the mobile device. For the mobile devices, one of which I have in my hand. Making life easier. One headache at a time. That's what mobile devices do. They make life easier one headache at a time. Oh, 
Come on, zombie boy. Oh, and the fume shrooms can also attack through other zombies. Something you may want to keep note of. Not really my favorite plant here, but I do quite enjoy it. Bringing in the heavy firepower. The heavy artillery. Everything will. Nothing lives. Everything dies. The body count has started. No one asked you. Hush. Four-legged, four-legged fiend. You will cease and desist. Hmm. You know, when I wanted to hide commentary, I didn't mean you. Yes, I'm quite certain. I'm talking to a cat. Welcome to a day in my life. Now I can just gather up sun. This could be a deck. Ha! Well now we got quite a lot of sun. had bad luck man or woman it's a javelin zombie that doesn't mean I know what gender preference thing is wow you didn't even make it that you didn't even make it that far it's just a sad little thing I do. Oh, the the all the man act. I love this thing. And on in every after every level, we will be viewing the plants and what they say. Here we go. Um, this is the pea shooters are your first line of defense. They shoot peas at attacking zombies. Damage normal. How can a single plant grow and shoot so many peas so quickly? Peach Shooter says, hard work, commitment, and a healthy, well balanced breakfast of sunlight and high fiber carbon dioxide make it all possible. <laughs> uh, here's the sunfire. Sunfire can't resist bouncing to the beat. What beat is that? Why the natch? The life giving jazzy rhythm of the earth itself, thumping at a frequency only a sunflower can hear. I want to explode, says Jerry. Jerry number one. No, let's detonate. Instead, says his brother, Jerry number two. After intense consultation, they agree to explode the nate. People wonder how I feel about getting constantly chewed on by zombies, says Walnut. Why they don't real what they don't realize is that with my limited senses, all I can feel is a kind of tingling. I realize. Like a relaxing back rub. Some folks say Potato Mine is lady, lazy. That he leaves everything up to the last minute. Potato Mine says nothing. He's too busy he's thinking about his investment strategy. <laughs> folks often tell Snoopy how cool he is. Or exhort him to chill out. They tell him to stay frosty. <laughs> Snoopy just rolls his eyes. He's heard them all. Chump almost got a gig doing stunts for the little shop of horrors. But fell through when his agent demanded too much in the front end. Chump was not resentful. 
Not resentful, though. He says it's just part of the business. But Peter is fierce. He's from the streets. He doesn't take attitude from anybody, plant or zombie. And he shoots peas to keep people at a distance. Secretly, though, but Peter yearns for love. Aww. I only recently became aware of the existence of zombies, says Puffshroom. Like many fungi, I just assumed they were fairy tale or movie monsters. This whole experience has been a huge eye opener for me. <laughs> Sunshroom hates sun. He hates it so much that when it builds up in the system, he spits it out as fast as he can. He just won't abide to it. Abide it. Him, sun is crass. <laughs> I was in the dead end job producing yeast spores for a bakery, says Fumes Room. Then Puff Room, bless him, told me about this great opportunity blasting zombies. Now I really feel like I'm making a difference. Despite Grave Buster's fearsome appearance, he wants everyone to know that he loves kittens and spends his off hours volunteering at the local zombie re rehabilitation center. It's just the right thing to do, he says. <laughs> uh, that's, that's what I love about these. They're all so fun and wacky. Whack a zombie. It's just like hunting squirrels. You know, the little furry rodents that dig holes in your lawn. Yeah, just like that. But instead of squirrels, they're zombies. Instead of a shovel, it's a mallet. And instead of me, it's you. <laughs> I love this minigame. Yes, it's simple. But it's fun. Fun, sorry. Oh, and there's the sun. Wow, a lot of sun on the front end. Holy crap. I know I just said that, but it's really fun. I tried doing this in real life once. Not against gravestones, but just taking a hammer and smacking things. It did not work out very well. My mother got mad at me. <laughs> anyway. Hey, there we go. There's an example of something I can talk about. I just finished talking about it. But whatever. It is fun, damn it. But you can see how rare these, uh, these diamonds are. You need to die. Oh, thank you! I don't really understand why they give us potato mine. Or why they give you potato mine. Us, you, them, they, whatever. Oh, the, um... Conehead zombies need two wax in order to get rid of In order to get rid of them. Black. I can speak. I've been speaking for a while now. <laughs> there we go. Hey. Oh, and the, um, the Buckethead Zombies have three heads. As you can tell, well, maybe not. Might as well get the slash for the cash. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. Penny Pincher, I don't know what that does. Anyway, I think that's good for this episode. So guys, I will be telling you, well this has been Plants for the Zombies and we actually had some decent progress. There we go, that's a good thing. Uh, have a good night, have a good day. Or do whatever you do, have a great time. Goodbye, everybody. <laughs>